Hey, Miss Pally. I'm Allie. And contrary to that really excited song you just heard from me, I will not be going on Naked and Afraid. I just found out that I've been cut from the show for medical reasons. So when I was a kid, I was diagnosed with this kidney disease. It is not serious. Please don't worry about me. I mean, some people have it seriously. I am fine. It just means that I dehydrate easily. And that's fine in everyday life, but the doctor was like, yeah, you can't risk it, you can't go out in the jungle and do this. So, no longer will I be getting this, what I said was, you know, less than once in a lifetime experience, because it is not happening in my lifetime. Uh, there's nothing that anybody could have done about it, like, we were sure I was going, that's why I announced to everyone on Snapchat, and, you know, I'd signed all the contracts, we were two weeks out, like, I was so excited, but it's not happening. And I'd done a lot of preparations too. I just got back, I smell like a fire. I just got back from an overnight survival training. Hey, remember when I said I've never been camping? Well, that changed. Actually, it was more aggressive than camping. We didn't have any camping equipment, so I was just sleeping on the floor last night on the ground without, you know, a tent, without a sleeping bag. And I mean, this is what you look like after survival, not the makeup that I did in the last video. Um, it was really cool, actually. It just made me realize how much I wanted to be on the show more. But again, it's not in the cards for me. Oh, I also did this training I wanted to show you for no reason. Uh, walking on this stuff in my apartment to rough up my feet to deal with in the wild, huh? So, unnecessary calluses. But yeah, you guys saw a lot of me like getting into it and, and preparing on Snapchat, but well, I don't know, I guess I'm tougher now, and I'm not, I'm excited to go have some coffee because <laughs> I haven't had caffeine in two weeks. I gave that up cold turkey for this. But yeah, and everyone that's already seen me talk about this on Snapchat has been like super supportive and they're like, don't worry, there are bigger and better things in the future, so thanks guys, that makes me feel way better. And this is just, you know, a silly bump in the road and I, I, it's just got me, you know, bummed. I'm fully clothed and bummed instead of naked and afraid. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and I figured that you guys would want to see the ups and downs, that's why I didn't just not publish that announcement video that I had already made, but instead I'm also giving you this straightforward talk to the camera video with no jump cuts, because I'm so serious. Okay, maybe one jump cut. Anyway, sorry for getting your hopes up, I am embarrassed that I told everyone this was happening and now it's not, but like I said, we couldn't have known. And now I kind of want to do some sort of challenge for those two weeks that I would have been in the jungle anyway, just maybe here. So what if I eat only whole food samples for 14 days? Urban survival. Or if I just refuse to wear a shirt and just go around in a sports bra for, you know, 14 days. I mean, that would be just watching a challenge of me getting a cold and kicked out of everywhere. <laughs> but if you guys have ideas, let me know. Maybe I should do some sort of, you know, push my limits, even if I'm not going to be in the jungle. But again, thank you guys for, you know, having my back and sticking around, even though this is not happening. So yeah, stay tuned for something bigger and better.